Raise your hand if you've ever heard anyone say that SEO can take months or years for progress to be made. True game-changing results for your business from your SEO campaigns, yes, that can take some time, but progress should be seen soon after you make your changes. One of the things delaying the results that you could be seeing is how frequently or infrequently Google is crawling your website to notice the changes. In this video, I'm gonna give you two simple tips for things that you can do today to nudge Google to come back to notice your changes. If that sounds interesting, let's discuss. Hey friends, my name is Scott Redgate and I'm passionate about helping small businesses make more and spend less and show you that you have everything you need to manage your own online marketing campaigns. Today we're going to be talking about a couple of things that you can do to help Google crawl or notice the changes that you've made to your SEO campaigns quicker. And make sure you stick around to the end because I have a freebie that I'm going to give you that will help you with your SEO strategy. Okay, so you want your SEO changes to get noticed sooner so that Google can recognize your hard work and the improvements that you've made with your website. So to do that, to get your changes noticed, your website needs to be crawled by Google. So let's define what crawling by Google means. So what is crawling? Crawling is the process of finding new or updated pages to add to Google. So you can think of it this way. Google is crawling the internet constantly. They're looking for new websites. They're looking for new pages. They're looking for updated content. And it's important to realize that if you have a new website or if your website is unpopular or if it changes infrequently, Google will rarely crawl your website unless they are prompted to. Changes in your website content can take weeks or even months to get noticed. So if you've updated a page or if you've added a new page that you think will be very beneficial, will help drive some organic traffic to your website, it can take some time if you have a new website or if it's unpopular or if your content just changes infrequently. So now let's contrast that with popular websites or content that changes frequently. When I think of this, I think of some of those authoritative news websites out there. Google will crawl your website often and changes to your website content be can be noticed the same day, sometimes even the same hour. So what does this mean? This means that the change that you made to help your website's SEO to drive more organic traffic could take weeks or even months to be discovered. So if you want to see which version of your page Google has cached in their index, now the term caching is different from crawling and we won't get into that in this video, but you can simply look for your website or your web pages listing and then you can click the three dots next to the result and something like this will pop up. It'll say about this result. And if you look at the bottom, you'll see this um, button that says cached. Click that and it will open up Google's cached version or Google saved version of your page and it will provide a little bit more information. So here it says that the snapshot of this page as it appeared on July 19th, 2022. So that is the version of my page that Google has saved on their servers. So if you followed these steps and the date that is in this result for Google's cache version on the page is several months old, you'll know that if you make a change to this page, you'll probably want to do the steps that we'll go through next to make sure that Google recognizes the changes quicker. So there are two simple things that you can do. The first is to submit your, the URL inside of Google Search Console. And then the next thing that you can do is you can ping your XML sitemap. So let's quickly show you how this is done. So the first thing that we're gonna talk about is submitting your URL. So the assumption here is that you've set up Google Search Console for your website. And if you have, you'll see these options listed here on the left side. So you've got overview, performance, and URL inspection. If you select URL inspection, this is what will happen. It will, it will uh, show this top section and you can simply paste in or you can type in the URL that you want Google to inspect. So after you do that, this is the type of screen that you'll be presented with. So this particular URL that I pasted in is 
indexed inside of Google and I can see that with this message right here, it says URL is on Google. But let's say I made changes to this page and I want Google to notice these changes quicker. All you need to do is select this request indexing button right here and it can take a minute or two while Google tests to see if the live URL can be indexed. And then this message popped up, indexing requested. URL was added to a priority crawl queue. Submitting a page multiple times will not change its queue position or priority. So this page was already indexed on Google, but the assumption was that I made some changes. I wanted Google to notice those changes quicker. So what we did was we went inside of Google Search Console, we pasted in the URL, and we requested that Google recrawl that page. The other thing that you can do is that you can ping your XML sitemap. Okay, so what is an XML sitemap? In layman's terms, an XML sitemap is just a listing of your pages that you want to present to Google. You want Google to index. And so if you have that already set up in Google Search Console, you select the sitemaps um, link right here on the left side, and it presents this screen that we're looking at right here. I want you to take note or even copy the URL of the XML sitemap because to ping the sitemap, um, what you're gonna do is you're going to, in whatever browser you are in, I use Google Chrome, you're gonna copy this URL that Google provides and then you're gonna paste your XML sitemap URL at in, in this place right here where it says full URL of sitemap. So you copy this URL right here and then you paste in the URL of your XML sitemap into your browser. And when you do that, if you've successfully done that, you'll receive a message like this. Sitemap notification received. Your sitemap was successfully added to our list of sitemaps to crawl. So the difference between the first step and this one, the first one when we submitted an individual URL, Google will look to crawl that URL specifically. With this, we are asking Google if they will recrawl all of the URLs that we have listed in our XML sitemap. So if you're struggling to get your, your SEO changes noticed, faster. Um, this is an easy couple of steps for you to complete. And after you have done that, you are done. All right. So now you know two things that you can do to nudge Google to recrawl your pages so that they'll notice your SEO changes faster. I hope that was helpful for you. If it was, I have a free gift that I want to give you. It's my seven day online marketing jumpstart. You can get it at scottredgate.com slash jumpstart. If you have a new website or you're looking for tips on how to market your business online in a cost effective manner, this is the document for you. It's a simple PDF bullet points that you can complete in seven days. And after you do, you'll have a lot more confidence that you can manage your own online marketing campaigns and you don't have to hire an agency to do it for you. And if this video was helpful for you, I would be honored if you could take the time to like or subscribe to my channel so I can keep making content just like this. Thank you so much for watching my video. Until next time.